Anyway, we're here in the Skinny Girl's Kitchen. Some of you may recognize Sidekick Mark. Sidekick Mark. <laughs> were it not for Mark, there probably would be no Skinny Girls in Mayonnaise. Uh, Mark was a formative, formative influence in my cooking when I was a young man. Well, I was the one that always held the spoon. And, and he still did. You can see and how, I still do. You can see how well Because what's cooking without a spoon? <laughs> Now Mark has been feeding me, all, has been forcing me all night to drink a special fermented beverage he brought back from the Congo. So I'm not sure, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure any of this is going to make any sense what we're doing here tonight. But uh, uh, the what, Congo, oh, oh the, yeah, those yeah. were the days. Those were the days. So here we have beautifully wrapped um, squash blossoms. Let's turn that down a touch because it's starting to. That's smoke. why I'm sidekick Mark. Sidekick Mark is, handles things like that. So we're we're. Dipping this in a in a batter. What's the batter made of? Well, Mark, I'm glad you should ask. It's kind of a light um, flour, a little bit of egg, a little bit of fizzy water. It's kind of a light, thin batter, so it's not gonna it's not gonna create much of a. Now let's get that back up a little bit. Is that just regular oil? Mark, I'm glad you asked. That's canola oil in which we have cooked a little bit of guanciale from Salumi in Seattle, which is a fabled guanciale, a fabled salumaria, I guess you would call it, from Mario Batali's father. I think we have sidekick Emmy too. We have sidekick Imogen. The baby. Really this, is the, stuff. this is the family version of Skinny Girls and Mammoths. So yeah. Isn't it always family version? <laughs> this is more family version than usual. So we we uh, we try to put on airs of professionalism here in our in our kitchen, but it's all a facade. So these guys are cooking up, give them a little shake, and back here we have a sauce which is made of pureed tomatoes. Um, a little bit of wine, a little tiny bit of cream, and olive oil that's been folded into it. So, wow, that's good. So I think Mark is eating mm. the cross. <laughs> Very good. Can Mark, Mark, you can think of Mark as Patrick to my SpongeBob. Ooh, I like, like that. that. Right? I like that. Mark works at Nickelodeon. So <laughs> Right. Wow, the smell is beautiful. They smell good. They look beautiful. And just you wait till you see them on the plate. What are they wrapped with? They're wrapped with a little bit of uh, Iberico ham from Spain. It creates a little kind of a jacket on them. And it'll give you that little bit of porky, porky goodness that you were craving in this dish. Mmm. Smells wonderful. Thank you. All right, so I think I'm ready to plate a couple of these. What do you think, Mark? I think we're ready. I agree. Let me see if I have a spatula. You need my spoon if you'd like. Get a spatula. Yeah. Put it back down nice and low. All right. Plating. Plating is where the rubber meets the road. So we've got a couple of those there on the plate. We're going to take a little bit of this sauce. Beautiful tomato sauce, like that, and then to finish it off, we're going to put a sl slice of guanciale across the top, like that. That is stunning. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I would eat that. You, would you eat that? I'd probably eat it twice. I think you will eat that. 